Hello everyone and welcome to Jaunty Cat Art. This is Tyra and I'm working on the third part of my time lapse drawing of my latest piece, Chastity. If you want to see progress shots of this and photo or even the finished drawing then take a look at my other social media profiles which are linked below where I do update my art more regularly and basically what we're gonna be seeing here in this video is me working on background elements foreground elements working on foliage and rocks and things of that nature and sorry if my voice sounds a little bit off like every other youtuber in the winter I'm actually recovering from a cold or some other kind of infirmity so bear with me okay and basically I'm here working on rocks here in the beginning and I'm not gonna work on the entire environment because I'm trying to really break down my drawings piece by piece so I don't overwhelm myself and and just do too much at a time but basically I have already figured out what's going on with my light source which is why I highly advise whenever you're doing anything more ambitious to do thumbnails and you know do little studies I have references and my thumbnails propped up as I'm actually working on a drawing so that's something I highly advise um, you know how you get to the end of a drawing or a painting or something and it's always just kind of underwhelming or it just takes a turn for the worse yeah I've had that happen so many times which is why I'm just such a stickler for figuring these things out you know figuring out my value scheme what my figures are doing before I actually work on a big ambitious drawing like this and once again um, this is a part of a series and I'm gonna be turning this into an oil painting when I'm through with all of the drawings so that's gonna be a lot of time spent and I don't want to get to the detailed oil painting where I'm just using up medium and paint and then figure oh man I wish this area was different you know that's pretty frustrating so moral of the story is to plan your compositions ahead of time um so a very general here i have some trees back here and i have um some that are being pushed further into the background and i'm not um actually pressing down very hard on, on the pencil and I have my pencil sideways as I work on these organic shapes um, so I could get in chunks of value and um, with my dark pencil um, I could get in some really dark values and, and really push my value scheme this is going to be a fairly moody piece so I want my darks to to be pushed a little bit more on the darker side and my lights to be fairly bright by comparison um, so in the background where you see some of the trees they are kind of blurred out they're not very dark and you know that's to convey atmospheric perspective because I want there to kind of look like maybe it's kind of foggy in the back and you know that's just something that you always want to try to incorporate in an environment piece or maybe even an interior scene depending on what's happening just so that it can look like you know there's some some space in here and with these elements um, these organic shapes you can be kind of loose with them you don't have to be so tight and controlled with it and as you can see um, I'm just going in with the side of my pencil and things of that nature at various points of my working on this drawing I'm actually um, turning I'm using my eraser to 
uh, draw with. Um, it's called subtractive techniques. I believe the technical definition of it is so that I could kind of blur out some of my edges and, and things of that nature. And basically, I want to go in with a more painterly approach to these large blocks of color, like, you know, where the branches are, where some of these rock formations are at. And just... Uh, just so I'm not being too persnickety with it because you you don't want to add in too many details at first with this type of work I am actually using multiple pencils here as well um, one of my pencils is a darker pencil it's softer lead and it's uh, a 4b and I have a harder pencil here that I'm actually doing more of my outlines with. It's a 2H pencil and for all of, you know, those people out there who may be concerned. Just, you know, just be aware that different pencils have different levels of hardnesses and softnesses to them. And that's all going to affect your ability to get darker values. And you do, especially for something you tend to have more of a, um, a moody effect, you do want to push your darks in a, in a work like this. Um, I quite enjoy having these certain areas be darker than others and, and using my full value range. And then you see here in the trees, um, I'm again, just be very general about it. And then with the rocks, um, I'm not being very persnickety about it. I'm just being um, kind of general basically I'm treating these like a still life you know how if you you've ever taken an art class and you draw like squares or, or cubes and, and simple objects of that nature I'm using the exact same principle so basically for that rock formation in the foreground before I start working on those little blades of grass and things like that I, um, I treat the whole block is one giant shape and then I just you know go in with darker values to carve out the form later on into these smaller and smaller structures and then I add little blades of grass and smaller rocks to add detail and and um, I have some of these areas here with the little blades of grass overlapping the figure so that it looks like that piece of area like that mass of rocks and, and dirt and everything is actually in front of the character and that's another trick to creating depth not just in your background but having elements in the foreground as well that overlap I mean I know we all love to have our characters look pretty or, or really epic but having those foreground elements kind of overlap really kind of places the character into the space that he or she or it is supposed to be in. And so um, I will be posting up more videos of progress of this of this drawing to let you all see how it's done and explain some things and hopefully again if you are not very well versed in doing foliage and backgrounds and and things of that nature hopefully you do get value out of this and if there's anything else related to this or any of our other work you want to see comment below share this to support us and thank you so much for watching bye bye